South Korea just delivered fully functioning female robots. Advancements that Japan has been able to achieve have made South Korea feel left behind. South Korea has more than enough resources to achieve the same. The tech-savvy, community-minded, and intensely pragmatic Koreans are now quite eager with this technology and have been viewing artificial intelligence as a solution to this problem. The recent reports have confirmed this. But what does this report say? Is South Korea coming up with their version of female robots? Is there something of concern? Continue watching the video till the end to know more. Hey everyone, and welcome back to our channel. I hope you guys are doing extremely well. In this video, we will be talking about these new female robots that South Korea has been reported to have delivered. So if you are new to this channel, then do make sure to hit the subscribe button. Now, without any further delay, let's hop right into the video. The country of South Korea has no worries when it comes to an artificial intelligence apocalypse. They have now been figuring out how robots can make their lives better by helping to solve a vast variety of social troubles, from the very small to the large and looming. South Korea has now reported to have delivered their fully functioning female robots, and these reports have been confirmed at the Incheon International Airport. The airport outside South Korea's capital, Seoul, has a team of congenial staff that will help its guests in finding out their boarding gates and will also help in escorting these guests to the nearest lounge. These are extremely well-trained, well-behaved, and quadrilingual to boot. However, they are not very good at small talk. But why is it so? This is because they are robots. These robotic guides at the airport have been developed by the Korean tech titan LG Electronics. These robots have been claimed to be working alongside human employees for quite a while now. The robot stands 1.4 meter tall and inescapable of moving autonomously on a wheelbase and also display an LCD information screen. They can help you in navigating through their cameras and ultrasonic laser and edge sensors that are inbuilt and help them in locating different areas of the airport. They are also capable of recognizing voice and process language naturally. However, these are not the only robots that have been reported to have made headlines or are spread over the internet. The country is also preparing to host the upcoming 2018 Winter Olympics from the 9th of February to the 25th of February in the northern city of Pyeongchang. The Hankook Mirai Technologies Towering Method 2 has been proclaimed to be the world's first manned bipedal robot, and the DRC Hubo, a humanoid robot with transformer capabilities, have been developed by the Korean Advanced Institute of Science and Technology, and 2015 winner of the Defense Advanced Research Project Agency, Robotics Challenge. The company LG Electronics have also been reported to develop another airport robot, a cleaner that uses mapping and obstacle avoidance technology to calculate the most efficient pathways and keep the space sparkling. In our view, artificial intelligence, robots, and related solutions are not just new gadgets, but key technologies to support humans, senior engineer in LG's smart solutions division. In some cases, robots may perform jobs that are too dangerous or too complicated for regular workers. The country of South Korea has been hurtling toward a new world, which is said to be rooted in a familiar old one too. It is another ancient heritage, replete with animals who have their own hopes and dreams, trees with souls, and mountains with spirits that may have in some way helped influence South Korea's modern technology. The South Korean ancient animist legend has been claimed to have helped influence the nation's appreciation of modern technology. The South Korean modern technology innovation powerhouse might not have even existed today if it was not for one bear who was as persistent as she was optimistic. This bear was founded around 4,300 years ago on top of a high mountain with a tiger. Both of them have longed to be humans. Thus, taking pity on them, the son of the Lord of Heaven gave them two sacred foods, garlic cloves and mugwort, and told them to ration the supply and stay out of the sun for 100 days. Impatient, the tiger quickly quit. Although the bear made it to the end of the challenge, transforming it into a woman who went on to marry the son of the Lord of Heaven and give birth to a son of her own. Named Dongun, he took the throne and became the ruler of the land. And so the Korean kingdom owed its creation to an animal who achieved very human aspirations. The shamanist faith of the Koreans include many people whose beliefs have been incorporated into Buddhism. Thus, it would not be unusual to think that a bird that is passing by is carrying the soul of your dead uncle after being reincarnated. It is also not unusual to have a meaningful memento or a musical instrument that has sacred scripts of their own. We can think that any kind of non-human being might have a spiritual or superpower beyond human capacity, whether it is a natural object or artificial object. Thus, the idea of robots adopting human behaviors and qualities are not quite alarming in South Korea. It makes sense that animistic features of shamanism might go well with robots, 
which are not living agents but have some characteristics of human beings. As of 2016, more than 41,000 robots have been sold in South Korea and was recorded to be the second most country to have sold so many robots on the planet, according to the International Federation of Robotics IFR. This number is half as many as China, which is more than 25 times as populous and 95 times as big. It has also been reported that South Korea has the highest level of industrial robot density in the world. In the manufacturing industry, there are 631 robot workers for every 10,000 human employees. In the automotive industry, there exist around 2,145 robots for every 10,000 humans. However, this has made some people cautious and concerned of the fact that this might result in fewer jobs for themselves. But this concern stops right there in their mind itself. Mass media anticipated many Korean people would lose their jobs. However, that was it, Kim said. Since then, it is rare to hear about worries regarding robots. While people still feel anxious that there might come a day when robots will steal people's jobs, they are also worried that one day these robots will become so superior that their intelligence will reach a higher level than us, humans, and will become unstoppable. And one day these robots will stage a coup and destroy the very people who created them. However, the Koreans are not panicking. Companies like LG have been working consistently to develop more and more robots that can optimize both the home, from autonomous lawnmowers to smart appliances and beyond, which includes hotels, shopping malls, tour centers, and various other public spaces. They have claimed that their goal is to identify areas where automated devices can add the most value, said Hong, who expects some of the company's robots to be ready for commercial release within the next one to two years. Future applications of robotics innovation might make it possible for South Korea to not only replace an aging workforce, but also care for it. Technologies like artificial intelligence may also play a huge role in defending the country's DMZ border with North Korea, which has already been seeing the development of semi-autonomous sentries like the SGR A1, first developed by Samsung. And back to where we started from, the Incheon Airport have made claims that their robot guides, who are about to finish their pilot program, are now preparing to welcome a number of them as full-time employees as of early 2018. Thus, what the people of South Korea were concerned about might seem to sound possible. Do you think South Korea will be able to achieve this feat one day? Is their concern really a thing of concern? Can robots take over human tasks and rage a coup against humans one day? Let us know your thoughts in the comment section down below. We would love to hear your thoughts on this while we keep working on making more such videos. Well, that brings us to the end of this video. We hope you have enjoyed watching the video. Please like the video if you have not already and make sure to hit the subscribe button. Don't forget to press the bell icon to never miss another update from our channel. With that being said, let's meet in another one of these videos. Until then, see ya!